Hey everyone, Apoorva Pandey here, and I just wanted to record this quick video for you to outline something that I've noticed has made a massive difference in a founder's ability to achieve their potential, but also just the quality of their life at the same time. And so this is something I call the zone. Uh, the zone exists on two axes. One is happiness, the other one is results. And in life, you'll notice people will go after one or the other. You'll hear people say like, I just need to get to blank and then I can, you know, take some time and like take it easy. Or other people will say like things like, you know, I'm just not enjoying what I'm doing. I don't, I don't have the passion. I don't, I don't feel the same as I used to when I'm doing work. Um, in reality, you need to go across these lines with a certain finesse to actually get to where you want in a way that's sustainable, repeatable, scalable, but also in a way that, you know, in a way that you deserve, like you deserve to be happy and you deserve to be highly productive. And what most people don't realize is when you trade one for the other, you get neither or you'll yo-yo back to neither. And if you, get both at the same time, that is flow. That's where things don't seem to go wrong. That's where you enjoy the entire process that is life, that is not just achievement, it's not just fun. It's an intricate dance between the two that I hope you're, you're having. So without further ado, um, let me get into the different components of this. So results is anything quantifiable or measurable that you're doing on a daily basis. Okay. So maybe this is something you want to get done at work. Maybe you're growing your company to a certain level. Maybe you have a certain amount of tasks you want to get done. That's quantifiable, measurable results. And you increase those with the intensity that you put into each hour, each day with the focus that you put into each hour, each day. Okay. The other one is happiness. Happiness is, not how much dopamine is your brain releasing at a certain time. It's actually how relaxed you are throughout the day. And what most people don't know is like the highest state of performance is a combination of like mass relaxation during hyper states of focus. Like that's where you actually are the most productive. Um, different ways that people, you know, become happier is like hedonistic ways. So materials, eating, drinking, sex, all these kinds of things. Um, yeah, there's, there's vices that that'll be on like the hedonistic side. Then you have your virtues. So things that actually help other people, that's going to bring happiness. And then you have your variable reward sequences. This is things like slot machines and mobile apps and, you know, just surfing the internet, surfing through channels. You don't know what kind of release you're going to get, how much happiness you're going to get, but you're, you're like chasing that that money drugs, I guess would be in the same category there. Um, what people don't realize is like the only sustainable ways to grow happiness is those virtues. So like helping other people, being productive, taking care of yourself. Like that's actually where you get the most happiness because that's actually how you become the most relaxed. And so how can you get both results? And happiness at the same time. How can you increase your cash in the bank, your net worth, and the level of energy you bring to each and every situation that you're in at the same time? Well, the key is instead of sacrificing one for the other, you want to leverage one for the other. You want to integrate the two. You want to become happier to get more results. And you want to get more results to become happier. And you want to take a non-linear approach to getting what you want. If any of that makes sense or does it make sense, let me know in the comments below. Uh, if you want more practical ways to approach this, uh, let me know in the comments below. I'll do a part two. Uh, this is just me highlighting something that I think I know every single founder needs. Otherwise they end up burning out and being like 
not happy with where they get in life or they end up just happy and never get what they want in life, both of which are a tragedy. The, you know, it's crazy to me that some of the most successful people in this world are extremely miserable. It makes that success meaningless to a degree, but what's worse is like the consequences of misery are a lot of what caused the world to be in a bad place. And it drives me even more crazy that a lot of the happiest people have nothing and they're, you know, barely subsisting and just surviving in this world for the sake of their freedom, for the sake of their joy, rather than being a part of the world and like helping people and integrating with it and really caring and being connected to everything that's around them. So they're both really romantic ideas and we're pitched them in life through the media, through friends, family, parents, society, as you pick one or the other. I hope this video can at least help you see that you don't have to sacrifice one for the other. And there are people out there that are both. So yeah, that's what I got. Like I said, go ahead and post in the comments. If you agree, disagree, hate anything I'm saying, think I'm too esoteric, whatever. I would love your feedback. And I hope this video has uh, shown you a little bit. Cheers.